Hey, hot geek streaks and fans. I'm Mackenzie Smoke, and I'm here with Amber. Hi. Hi. And uh, we are officially on the road to trans world <laughs> with Hot News Network. Um, and we can't think of a better way to start off this journey than with Escape from City and Escape Games Canada. All right. So uh, we just want to welcome Sean to the show. Hi, Sean. Hi there. Thanks for having me. <laughs> So can you just uh, tell our haunt lovers a little bit about yourself and Escape Games Canada? Absolutely. Uh, so Escape Games Canada was one of the first uh, escape room companies in North America. Uh, we're probably one of the first in the big handful. Um, we were born out of the idea of actually seeing escape rooms uh uh, earlier, I guess earlier this decade, uh, around 2010, 2011 in, in Shanghai, China, where I was uh, working, I was on a work duty uh, over there for a few years. Um, my wife and I were there and we, uh, we fell in love with escape rooms. Uh, my background is in aerospace engineering and uh, business and game theory analytics. So we figured, well, what else can I do with that? Uh, after my work contract finished, we packed up, we came uh, back home for me to Toronto uh, and uh, we decided to open a, a an escape room, but we wanted to do things a little differently. So we decided instead of expanding our footprint and opening a lot of facilities, we went for a big facility right here in the heart of Toronto, uh, Ontario, Canada. And we also uh, invested a lot of money and time and, and thought in, into finding like-minded people like us. And then uh, in addition, we put most of our energy and effort into innovating the, the market. Uh, basically pushing the boundaries of what an escape room is. And that's why we named ourselves Escape Games, because uh, rooms are kind of passe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Um, so in the industry um, that's considered fairly new, what helps um, Escape Games Canada continue to be a leader in the industry? Oh, well, I mean, that's uh, that's a, it's a great question because, uh, you know, it, it touches on a lot of points. You know, is this industry still new. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of mature companies now and, uh, you know, it's evolved very quickly. Uh, it, it's, it's a little bit more dynamic than the, than the haunt industry in that there's a lot of different paths that this can take. Uh, it, and it's very tangential. It can have haunt elements. It can have mystery, uh, mystery theater elements. It can have all sorts of interesting gamification elements that haunts typically don't have. So I don't see it as a standalone industry more so than a, than a tangent of an industry that or like the haunted injury theater. Uh, with that being said, that's exactly how we're innovating it. We skip the step of building an escape room, a converted office space, uh, you know, where people put a bunch of lock boxes. This isn't fun for us. And we realize that customers across North America will get very bored and desensitized to this experience very quickly. And our whole goal was about setting the bar high. Whenever we start out on creating a game or an experience or a mission, as we call them, we always ask the question, what if we do something like this? Or what if we could do this? What if? Uh, and that what if becomes the cornerstone of all of our designs. Uh, you know, and it starts off with, uh, you know, the most uh, seemingly mundane what if, which is what if you got locked in the back of a moving truck? Uh, and, and that actually spawned one of our craziest missions uh, to date. Very cool. I don't want to be locked in the back of a truck. No. <laughs> but that would be a great escape room. So. Yeah. All right. So what is it about Transworld that keeps you and your team coming back every year? And what is so important about this trade show that makes it a must attend event? Okay, well, I mean, that's a that's a very heavy handed question. First of all, <laughs> what brings me back? Uh, and the reason why I say heavy handed is because I gotta I gotta play carefully here. It's the people. Uh, no, it's it really though the community around the haunt industry is uh, is so well formed and the people there are great. Uh, and because of the maturity of the of the show now, it's been going on for a long time. Uh, you really see the professionalism, and you see some great people there. Uh, it's it's just a fantastic community, and, and it brings together a lot of like minded individuals that are that are not just into the haunt industry, but are in the movie and prop making industry, that are also in the entertainment and location based experience industry, escape rooms, virtual reality, gaming is now showing up. Um, you know, as the consumers start to demand a little bit more of a dynamic experience when they go out and spend their money, uh, you know, the, the haunt, ha haunt show has become a cornerstone uh, and an anchor point for all of this and now expanding to even more 
uh, genre. So I, I think it's really the community that's formed around it, which is great and what, what makes it all, uh, you know, all very important. And the other thing, though, and, and why I say this is a heavy handed question is because I might get in trouble for saying this, but there's no other show like this. And the reason why I say I might get in trouble is because there's a lot of shows trying to be like this. And there's a lot of people plugging or looking for that kind of exposure to really make themselves as big as, as trans world is, but no one's close. So if you're even remotely connected to this industry, that's, you know, that's, that's the whole, that's the whole gist of it is that this is the show to be at. Um, and, you know, I'm not saying anything bad about the other shows, but this one is just so much larger. So it's just so much more important. So our next question was, how has it helped, how has trans world helped evolve the escape room industry? But you kind of covered that with just how vast it is, right? Yeah. Well, I can actually go more into it. So there's other there's other shows that are, are around the world, uh, and I won't I won't name them here. There's so many of them, but there's a few big ones that uh, go on, and they take place in Europe. And there's a couple others that are uh, you know uh, game design conventions, but none of them really have that tangential force behind them. Whereas a big influencer on the development of the escape room industry is, uh, for instance, the uh, controllers and technology that drive the hunt industry have now uh, adapted and now support the escape room industry they saw a need and they quickly mobilized so the the haunt and attraction show actually has a, a you know a head start on supporting the escape room and anything related to location-based experiences it has a head start over all the other shows which are usually just very monocentric or monochromatic or very binary in their in their in their offerings um so the Trans world has become uh, more of like a, a supporting crux for all these industries, uh, whether it be escape rooms, whether it be axe throwing, whether it be virtual reality. And I'm pretty sure if you show up, uh, if you show up at the show today uh, and, and this year specifically, you're going to see all sorts of really crazy stuff going on, um, including hybridization, virtual reality haunts, virtual reality escape rooms, uh, haunted escape rooms. There's no definitive line. And I think that's where the show really helps evolve, not just the escape room industry, but all the location-based entertainment industry. Definitely. <laughs> all right. So um, we saw that you're teaching a seminar um, at Transworld. Do you want to give us a little bit uh, more information about that? Absolutely. I don't mind sharing uh, as much as I can. Uh, one of the really big challenging points that we're finding right now is in the industry we're in a phase of transition where there's two types of companies and and i spoke about this about four years ago and i said what's going to end up happening is you're going to get a big difference in quality of escape rooms uh and and you're going to see the large independent companies who are investing big bucks into making crazy stuff that really wow the customers and the there this is good and bad for the smaller uh, smaller mom and pop shops or smaller cities that just don't have the throughput to keep up with those kinds of big budgets because every time a customer or every time an escape room player travels and they go to a big city you 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 should be sure that they're going to play a really awesome escape room and if they do that and then they come back to their local town they're going to be comparing the local mom and pop and the smaller market escape rooms to the big independents and that's really not a fair competitive uh, comparison and you can't compete uh but i'm going to try and show you and my whole seminar is going to be on well how do you compete and is there a way if you know if, if i if i only have x amount of dollars how am i going to compete with these bigger guys uh in the industry how am i going to hold up and uh you know because of the interest in in some of the haunt suppliers in the escape room industry they've made uh developing high-end escape rooms uh very accessible for smaller people but you just got to know where to spend your money and I, I i see a lot of it uh especially on the facebook forums and the buy and sell forums a lot of people putting money in the wrong places and uh, it, it's a personal pet peeve of mine. And I figured this would be a great opportunity uh, for people who are also unsure of where do I put my money and how do I know I'm spending my money properly? This is a great place for them to, to kind of get around that and finally get their head in the right mind space as to every dollar they spend, how to, how to maximize the efficacy of, of all that spending uh, so I can compete with the bigger guys. Awesome. Well, thank you, Sean. It has been a pleasure chatting with you. And we are super excited to see you at Trans World and to all of our viewers. All right. Thank you for watching Hot News Network with Escape Games Canada. And we will see you next week on the road to Trans World. Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>